We are in a soldier's barracks right now, one of the uh, soldier's barracks or rooms in the freestanding buildings inside the fort. Uh, it's typically known as the DeWitt Barracks because the 3rd New York Regiment uh, here at the fort in 1777 and 1778 typically would post the name of the captain by the door of the barracks room so there could be easier identification as to which company of soldiers was in each of the rooms. And this was the place where the soldiers spent any time that didn't require them to be outside doing work for the army. During the winter time, uh, where you think uh, they might be enjoying the fact that they have a roof over their heads and bed to sleep on, well, there was that to a degree, but the fact that standing orders also said that even during the winter months, fires had to go out once the lights out or tap two sounded on the drum and fife, that did not make for a necessarily warm experience, even if you do have walls around you and a bed to sleep in. That was made even worse by the fact that because these freestanding barracks buildings were thrown up rather quickly and uh, made use of a lot of green wood, the planks then would proceed to shrink as the wood season throughout the months. And as you look around the room, you'll see various areas where you can quite easily see uh, sunlight coming through, which meant that other things like rain and snow also sometimes had the ability to come in as well. And the situation was made even worse in the winter 1777 to 1778 by the fact that by that time, most of the soldiers here were without shirts or uh, any sort of proper pants, shoes, or stockings. And in fact, that order about uh, no fires burning all throughout the night had to be rescinded for a time in February 1778, because that by that point, the soldiers bedding and blankets were also beginning to fall apart as well. So the only way that it was left to keep the soldiers from getting sick from the cold or possibly dying from cold exposure was to allow them to have fires burning all throughout the night. And while the uh, clothing situation did eventually uh, get a little bit better with the coming of the springtime, from what we know, the bedding and blanket situation never really improved any great degree. And by the time the regiment was getting to leave in December of 1778, there's some indication that there might have been to a point of three men trying to share a single blanket.